One of the things I love about my job at the DIA is that it forces me to learn about all aspects of American art. By specialty, I'm a curator of a 19th century American painting. But since I've come here, I've needed to learn about American furniture, about American sculpture, and about American silver. The American silver collection has been off view since 2002. During the summer of 2012, Linda Johnson and I researched the collection, discovered new things about pieces in the collection, arranged for the collection to be polished, and worked with other staff to design these beautiful new cases. Silver is typically made in three different forms. We have our drinking vessels, we have our tableware, and we have flatware. But what most people don't know is that there's specialized little vessels that foreshadow uh, contemporary culinary trends we have today. This little cup uh, foreshadows our infant sippy cup, or maybe a cup with a straw. I was fascinated by these three muffineers, or casters, what looked to us like shakers. And in fact, these are the ancestors of the modern salt and pepper shaker. But in the 18th century, they weren't used for salt and pepper. The large one was used to, for sugar. The smaller ones were used for ground spices, dried cayenne pepper or dried mustard. Now we're looking at our beautiful collection of Paul Revere's silver, and while we think of him mostly as our patriot on his midnight ride, he also was a well-known silversmith in the area. One way we know that this is silver by Paul Revere is by a hallmark. It was a mark much like a signature that an artist would draw on a painting. Some have a P and an R, some have just P Revere, and some are embellished in shields and circles and fleur-de-lis. As it's well known, tea drinking in the colonies was a prize ritual and really set the stage for social interaction between the wealthy. Most of the objects behind me are readily identifiable, but one item that may not be that identifiable is the bowl in the center. This bowl was not used for dessert or a fruit compote or what one might think, but it was used for waste, and the colonists actually called it a slop bowl. They would drink their tea in small little cups, one to two ounces, and when the tea became cold or it had a sediment in the bottom of it, they would pour the tea and the remains into the waste bowl, waiting for their next warm cup of tea to be poured in their little ceramic cup.